Hello, welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I am your host, Ilham Ahmadov. On April 3rd, Secretary of State of the United States of America, Antony Blinken, made a phone call to President Ilham Aliyev. Antony Blinken said that he received reports that the trilateral meeting between the United States, the European Union and Armenia on April 5th caused concern on the Azerbaijani side and he considered it important to clarify the issue by talking to President Ilham Aliyev. The State Secretary pointed out that the main essence of the mentioned meeting will be the economic development of Armenia. President Ilham Aliyev noted that according to the information he has, issues such as military support to Armenia and holding joint military exercises, creation of military infrastructure in border areas with Azerbaijan, arming of Armenia through the European Union peace mechanism and at the expense of the U.S. budget were also discussed in the process of preparation for the trilateral meeting. The head of our state emphasized that such anti-Azerbaijani steps, including the policy of arming Armenia by France, encourage an arms race in the region and will lead to provocations. During the telephone conversation, Antony Blinken emphasized that the April 5th meeting was not against Azerbaijan. During the conversation, the peace talks between Armenia and Azerbaijan were discussed. President Ilham Aliyev said that the negotiations of the foreign ministers on the text of the peace agreement in Berlin were useful in terms of advancing the process and that there was a need to speed up the negotiations. Also, the head of our state emphasized that the accusations made in the West that Azerbaijan intends to attack Armenia are completely groundless. President Ilham Aliyev noted that the French foreign minister lied and accused Azerbaijan of not recognizing Armenia's territorial integrity and being a source of danger to Armenia at a press conference held in Paris with Antony Blinken on April 2nd. The head of our state emphasized that Azerbaijan is committed to the declaration adopting during the Prague meeting in 2022 and the Almaty Declaration. According to President Ilham Aliyev, the non-transparent preparation, non-inclusive nature of the trilateral meeting of the United States, the European Union and Armenia scheduled to be held on April 5th, and the fact that it was not postponed despite the rightful comments of Azerbaijan will not lead to peace and cooperation in the South Caucasus, but to the creation of dividing lines and as a result will lead to tension. During the conversation, issues of bilateral cooperation between Azerbaijan and the United States were also touched upon. Antony Blinken noted the discussions he had with President Ilham Aliyev within the framework of the Munich Security Conference in February of this year and emphasized that his country intends to expand cooperation with Azerbaijan in various fields. He also noted the contacts of delegations of the two countries within the framework of COP29. President Ilham Aliyev said that Azerbaijan is interested in the development of bilateral relations with the United States in the areas discussed in the Munich Security Conference and that COP29 creates good opportunities for cooperation between our countries in the field of climate change and green technologies. President Ilham Aliyev received Governor of St. Petersburg of the Russian Federation, Alexander Biglov. During the meeting, the sides highlighted that Azerbaijan's friendly relations with Russia flourishing across various domains of the country's cooperation with various regions of Russia, including the city of St. Petersburg, contributes to strengthening the ties between the two countries. President Ilham Aliyev and Alexander Biglov fondly recalled the past meetings, expressing confidence that the governor's visit would yield fruitful outcomes and provide an excellent opportunity to discuss cooperation prospects. They stressed that remarkable events had been held in St. Petersburg to commemorate the 100th anniversary of great leader Heydar Aliyev and warmly acknowledged the contributions of several distinguished Azerbaijanis to the development of the city of St. Petersburg. Discussions during the meeting covered the expansion of trade, economic and investment opportunities, as well as the strengthening of humanitarian, cultural and educational cooperation between relevant institutions. The sides expressed mutual interest in strengthening relations, noting the positive reception of signing the four-year roadmap during a meeting of the Intergovernmental Commission on Economic and Humanitarian Cooperation between Azerbaijan and St. Petersburg, operating for two decades. Then a keepsake was presented to the head of state.
President of the Republic of Congo, Denis Sassungueso, arrived in the Republic of Azerbaijan for an official visit. A guard of honor was lined up with the Congolese president at the Hider Aliyev International Airport, decorated with the national flags of the two countries. President of the Republic of Congo, Denis Sassungueso, was welcomed by Azerbaijani First Deputy Prime Minister Yagub Eyubov, Deputy Foreign Minister Elnur Mamadov, and other officials. Baseless allegations against Azerbaijan made by European and Foreign Affairs Minister of France during a joint press conference with the U.S. Secretary of State is another vivid example of France's efforts to create a tension in the region and obstruct the peace process. Spokesperson for Azerbaijan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ayhan Hajizadeh, emphasized, presenting Armenia by France as a peaceful country that committed massacres and crimes against humanity demonstrates how fake is the policy of this country conducted both during its mediation period and following the 44-day patriotic war. At the same time, accusations against Azerbaijan in conducting aggressive rhetoric by the French side that is why the arming Armenia and promoting militarism in the region are unacceptable. Thus, the French side should understand that as long as it does not cease its destructive actions, it will not benefit both the damaged image of France and Armenia, which the country itself defends by all means. Ayhan Hajizadeh underscored. The Commissioner for Human Rights issued a statement on mine terror. The mines that Armenia planted on our lands during its 30-year occupation continue to pose a threat to human life and health. As a result of yet another mine terror, our civilians were injured. A total of 350 people have suffered from mines since the Second Karabakh War to date. The international community must not remain silent about Armenia's mine terrorism and must put serious pressure on this country to provide Azerbaijan with accurate maps of minefields. The statement reads. As a result of another successful operation carried out by our army last September, Khojali cleared of separatists is now being rebuilt. With the accelerated reconstruction and restoration works, the life returns to Khojali. At the initial stage, it is envisaged that 50 families will be resettled in Khojali during the first resettlement plan for May. So the longing for Khojali will end this year. It is inappropriate for Armenia to present itself as a European country with the so-called democratic values. The spokeswoman of the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Maria Zakharova, said this on the A of Zizla TV channel. She said that the image created by Armenia is not taken seriously in Europe itself. Victoria Nuland, who was the Deputy Secretary of State of the United States at the time, showed Europe its rightful place. She was right to call Europe a completely powerless, disgraceful, incompetent and collapsing entity. What is happening now shows that the official Yerevan intends to liken itself to the scattered structure. You can get in touch with us by contacting Astave Khabar's hotline number 051-511-1956 through which you can report events you come across of as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.